Shalom and welcome to Learn Hebrew Now. Today, we're going to dive into the world of Hebrew possessive pronouns. Understanding possessive pronouns is essential for expressing ownership and relationships in Hebrew. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to confidently use them in your sentences. So, without further ado, let's begin! Possessive pronouns in Hebrew are used to indicate ownership and can be expressed in two main ways. The first way to express possession is by using the word shell, followed by a personal pronoun. The second way is by adding suffixes directly to the noun. The first method is more widely used, but it's important to be familiar with both. The Hebrew word for my or mine is sheli, she-li. For example, to say, my dog is smart, say, hakelev sheli, chacham. Hakelev, the male dog, sheli, of mine, chacham, smart, singular male. To say your or yours when referring to a singular male, say shilcha, shilcha. For example, to say your dog is white when speaking to a singular male, say hakelev shilcha levan. Hakelev, the male dog, shilcha. Of yours, singular male, Lavan, white, singular male. To say your or yours when referring to a singular female, say Shilach, She Lach. For example, to say your cat is funny, say Hachatul Shilach Matzchik. Hachatul, the male cat, Shelach, of yours, singular female, Matzchik, is funny, singular male. The Hebrew word for his is Shelo, She-lo. For example, to say his dog is there, say Hakelev Shelo. Sham. Hakelev, the male dog. Shelo, of his. Sham, there. The Hebrew word for her or hers is Shela. She, la. For example, to say her book is new, say Hasefer Shela Chadash. Hasefer, the book, Shela, of hers, Chadash, new, singular male. To say our or ours, say Shelanu, She-la-nu. For example, to say our bag is full, say Hatik. Shelanu male. Hatik, the bag. Shelanu of ours. Male, full, singular male. To say your or yours when referring to plural males, say Shelachem. She, la, chem. For example, to say your book is. Is torn. When referring to plural males, say Hasefer Shelachem Karua. Hasefer, the book, Shelachem of yours, plural males, Karua, torn, singular male. To say your or yours when referring to plural females, say Shelachen. She, la, chen. 
For example, to say your notebook is full when referring to plural females, say המחברת שלכן מלאה. המחברת, the notebook, שלכן of yours, plural females, מלאה, full, singular female. To say there or theirs when referring to males, say שלהם, שלהם. For example, to say their room is messy, say החדר שלהם מבולגן. החדר, the room, שלהם of theirs, plural males, מבולגן, messy, singular male. To say their or theirs, we're referring to females, say שלהן, שלהן. For example, to say their dog is very cute. Say, הכלב שלהן חמוד מאוד. הכלב, the male dog, שלהן, of theirs, female, חמוד, cute, singular male, מאוד, very. Now, we will learn how to use the suffixes to express possession. The suffix method changes based on the gender and the number of the noun being possessed, as well as the person possessing it. The word shulchan means a table. Shulchan. And it is masculine. We will use the word shulchan to represent all the masculine nouns. To say my table, we will add the letter yud to the end of the noun, which will make it into shulchani. Shul ha ni. To say your table, when referring to a singular male, we will add chaf sofit to the end of the noun. So it will be shul chan cha. Shul chan cha. To say your table, when referring to a singular female, we would add chaf sofit to the end of the noun, but the last letter of the noun will get the nikud tzere. So it will become shul chanech. Shul cha nech. To say his table, we will add the letter vav to the end of the noun and add the nikud cholam, which will make it into Shulchano. Shul cha no. To say her table, we will add the letter he to the end of the noun, and the last letter of the noun will get the nikud kamatz, which will make it shulchana. Shul cha na. To say our table, the last letter of the noun will get a tzere, and we will add nun vav, which will make it into shulchanenu. Shul cha ne nu. To say your table, when referring to plural males, we will add chem to the end of the noun, making it into shulchan chem. Shul chan chem. To say your table, when referring to plural females, we will add chen to the end of the noun. So it will be shulchan chen. Shul chan chen. To say their table, when referring to males, the last letter of the noun will get a kamatz and we will add mem sofit. So it will be shulchanam. Shul cha 
Nam. To say their table when referring to females, the last letter of the noun will get kamats and will add nun sufit. So it will be shulchanan. Shul ha nan. The word susa means a female horse. Sus means a horse and susa means a female horse. We will use the word susa to represent all the female nouns ending with the letter he. To say my female horse we will drop the letter he at the end of the noun and replace it with taf yud, which will make it into susati. Su sa ti. To say your female horse when referring to a singular male, we will drop the letter he and replace it with taf and chaf sufit. So it will be susatcha. Su, sat, cha. To say your female horse when referring to a singular female, we will drop the he at the end of the noun and replace it with taf, chaf, sufit, so it will be susatech. Su, sa, tech. To say his female horse, we will drop the he at the end of the noun, replace it with taf and vav, so it will be susato. Su, sa, to. To say her female horse, we will drop the he at the end of the noun and replace it with taf he, so it will be susata. Su, sa, Ta. To say our female horse, we will again drop the he at the end of the noun and replace it with taf, nun, vav. So it would be susatenu. Su, sa, te, nu. To say your female horse, when referring to plural males, we will drop the he at the end of the noun and add taf, chaf, mem. So it would be susatchem. Su, sat, chem. To say your female horse when referring to plural females, we would drop the he at the end of the noun and replace it with taf, chaf, Nun sufit. So it would be susatchen. Su sat chen. To say their female horse when referring to males, we would drop the he at the end of the noun and add taf mem sufit. So it would be susatam. Su sa tam. To say their female horse when referring to females, we will drop the he at the end of the noun and replace it with taf nun sufit. So it will be susatan. Su sa tan. Those were the main variations of the possession suffixes. There are a few more, but we'll get to them in another video. If you want to learn more and to support the channel so I can continue creating content for you, join my Patreon page. You can find the link in the description below. And share with me in the comments if there are specific topics that you would like to learn about. For now, thank you for watching and Lehitraot! Goodbye!